Welcome to Netflix. For faster service, log in to Netflix.com and find the six-digit service code located at the bottom of any Netflix.com web page. Enter your service code now. Your call will be answered in about one minute. Calls may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance and to help us improve the Netflix experience. Please stay online at the end of the call for a brief survey. Peter, Netflix, how can I help you? Hey, Peter. So, hey, I was calling about uh, uh, your pedophilia show, Cuties. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, you knew what I was talking about. Um, so, it's absolutely revolting that your company would even film that, much less put it out for public consumption. Like, the filming it makes everybody involved in that scene guilty of monstrous crimes against freaking children. Everybody involved in that show is a pedophile by definition. And I cannot believe that any decision maker at a company like Netflix, well, actually I can, you know, now that I know who Netflix is, I can't believe that it's available for public consumption. Oh, so, you know, basically that means that anybody I encounter that I learned they have a Netflix account, I'm gonna make sure that they know and are aware that your company not only films pedophilic acts uh, on children, but also puts it out there for public consumption. Like, hey, wouldn't you like to pay to watch children be sexualized and stripped down to nakedness on camera? That'd be awesome, huh? Like, I mean, is that not completely one million percent disgusting? I understand where you're coming from, sir, but we are sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we use for cuties. We know that it was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film, which won an award at Sundance. We've now updated the pictures and description, sir. You're just making excuses at this point. Well, I know it's a script that you have to read, but it's not just the picture, it's the content of the video. Because I read about the content of the video. There are scenes that were filmed on the child actors, and then somebody thought it would be a good idea not only to film those things, but then to edit them, and then put them out there for people to stream and watch worldwide or nationwide or whatever. So somebody thought it was a good idea not only to put that like poster and description up there, but also to film the footage. The footage is much more concerning than a still shot. The still shot alone, means that anybody involved, you know, should basically have been executed, uh, like by people throwing rocks at them. But to actually put sexualized footage of children out there means that everybody's complicit in literal child porn. It's absolutely revolting. You know what you, know what you shouldn't do? You should not be reading a script line that's like, uh, yeah, we fixed the tiny thing that some people were mad about originally at the surface level. This goes way deeper than that, my friend way, way deeper. Um, so I would I would imagine that you've been mandated to give a script and read it out. Um, I encourage you to quit, for one thing. But, you know, I'm not your dad. Uh, is your manager available? I'd like to talk to that individual, uh, just briefly, at least, to express my guess as well as possible. Sure, sir. Can you hold for me? Is it okay? Sure, thank you. Sure.
the supervisor will, um, will be ready for you, okay? I forgot father name. Uh, sir, sure. I'm not fairly well now. Don't thank you, sir. One second, I'm digital again. Okay. Thank you. Right now, you're currently being transferred. Hi, this is Michael and the supervisor. Who am I speaking with? Hey, Michael, my name is Alan. Still there? Yep, I'm still here. Uh, how can I help you guys? Uh, yeah, so hey, I was just calling to give a comment about um, 
how Netflix promotes pedophilia. And as I was telling uh, the gentleman before, um, it's absolutely disgusting that somebody would not only, and I'm not talking about the poster, and I'm not talking about the tagline, I'm talking about the video footage of children exposing their genitalia and their breasts in sexualized dances on video, and then Netflix is like, you know what would be a really good idea? Not only filming this, but also we're going to put it out there for public consumption. Uh, it's monstrous. It's wicked. It's uh, completely disgusting. I was just wondering um, if you have any statement from upper management about how we're really, really sorry, holy crap, we're going to fire everybody, and we'll never do anything like that again. And by the way, Cuties is no longer available, and we think it's horrible. Is there any statement like that from upper management? Uh, right now, there's no uh, statement like that, but we have uh, a statement that we just uh, released. So. Uh, for now, what we can do is we can raise it to the higher management, and then hopefully they can um, release another statement. Okay, so what what is the statement then? The statement is, um, we are deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used for cuties. It, it was not okay, nor was, nor was it was representative of this French film, which won an award that Sundance. We've now updated the pictures and the section. You see, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's the statement that they put out. But no, but that's not the problem. The problem is not the poster. Well, the poster's a problem. Like, it's gross. It's horrible. But far worse is the video footage of children exposing their genitals and their breasts and dancing like sexy dances, according to the descriptions of the video footage that I've seen. Where's the statement saying, um, also, everybody who gave their approval to putting this show on Netflix is now fired? Like, so since that's not the case, since upper management is not saying that, you work for a company who, that is run by pedophiles, dude. Pedophiles. They're horrible, horrible people. They think that children should be sex objects. Children. And I'm not talking about a 20-year-old actor playing a 16-year-old actor who gets pregnant and there's a sex scene on TV. That's bad enough. We're talking about children that are 11 years old. Not only are they on footage doing these sexy dances and, like, playing a character, but these children, you had – somebody had to put those children in front of a video camera and then be like, okay, now pull down your shirt. Okay, now spread your legs. Now dance in this sexy manner. To children, these are children who are being asked to do this stuff by freaking pedophiles behind the camera. And then the pedophiles are like, yeah, this is going to make some good, this is going to be a good movie. And your company put that out there for public consumption because your, your company at some level, at very high level, obviously was like, yeah, this is good. You know what we need to do? We need to put out content for pedophiles to be sexually aroused by children with, you know, an HD video. Do you see how monstrous that is? I understand where you're coming from. So what we can do is we can actually um, take note of your concern and raise it under management. Yeah, so that, that's what it is. It's a concern that upper management is staffed by pedophiles. To you, it's a concern. Don't you agree that that's completely one million percent unacceptable, wicked, and disgusting? I, I cannot come in. So, like I said, what we can do is we can take up your claims and have it raised to our management. You know, um, just for your – so, I know that upper management doesn't care what I say, okay? Um, even if I were a Netflix subscriber, um, you know, the loss of one account or whatever for however, you know, 40 bucks a month or whatever is not going to – not really going to bother them. So, let me just let me just speak to you, man, like you personally, because I have concern for your soul, too. And and I understand also being put in a position where you are like you have to you know you have to say certain things that don't get you in trouble. But uh, you know what we're talking about here is like you work for a company who has asked you to you know be in contact with the public, and somebody from the public calls in and says you know Netflix is now normalizing and you know like being a producer of child pornography. But management doesn't want you to be like, yeah, child pornography is bad. They just want you to say thanks for your comment and thanks for your opinion. So at some level, my friend to you, 
you are guilty before God. You're responsible before God for what you say and what you do, even when you're at work. And if you are not able to say something so uh, obvious as child pornographers should be put in prison, not paid money to and not obeyed as part of upper management, if you're not in a position to do that, then your soul is very much in danger because it's obvious that you care more about your job than about something so obvious as child pornographers and pedophiles being, you know, completely, like, uh, shunned by society and persecuted by society uh, because these are children who are being sexualized, who are being molested and abused on camera, and then that abuse and that molestation is being put out to the world on video, high-definition video, and your upper management stands behind it. So I just want to encourage you today. You may that may be a decent gig that you have going on as a you know as a like a team lead or a call center manager or something like that. And I get that, and I get that it may be hard. But when you work for a company full of pedophiles who are defending pedophilia, uh, you'll stand before God and give an account for you helping them to defend pedophilia. You'll stand before God, and only Jesus Christ can set you free from that. It's sin. And you will be held accountable by God, but there is forgiveness available through Jesus Christ. And I just want you to know that, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died on the cross to save sinners like you and like me. And he rose again from the dead. He can give eternal life to everybody who asks him. And he calls on everybody, you and me, to repent of our sin and place our faith in him to give us eternal life and show us how to live during this life. And Jesus Christ most certainly would tell you to shun and in, and to shun a pedophile and to support his work in no way at all, even if they pay you money. If a pedophile came and said, you know, hey, let me let me give you some money and you can help me, you know, rape children, you wouldn't do that. But now you know that that is exactly the position you're in. That pedophiles are giving you money so that you can help them abuse children. I appreciate your concern. So for now, I, I cannot come in. So is there anything else? Um, <laughs> you know, maybe you don't understand. This is, as I was explaining to the previous gentleman, uh, you know, this, it would be one thing if I were like, you know, man, you should show less DC, you know, comics content and more Marvel comics content. I love Marvel and DC sucks. That would be one thing, you know. Or if I'm like, hey, man, why don't you guys make a documentary about, you know, my favorite subject or something? And you could be like, yeah, thank you for your comment. I'll make sure to pass that along. I get that. Okay. But right now what we're talking about is child pornography and pedophilia. It's not the same thing. It's not my preference. We're not talking about a preference. We're not talking about content that I would like to see or that I, I sure hope that you find the funds to, you know, maybe sponsor this guy. He's really artsy. What a great director he is. Oh, my goodness, you're going to love his stuff. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll pass on the comment. Thank you so much for that. You know, and then he just, just get, 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 gets put on the pile or something. We're talking about pedophilia. We're talking about the abuse of children. These child abusers are asking you to give them cover. And when you say, thank you for your comment, I'll be sure to pass that along, but I can't comment on that. What you're saying is, I am covering for pedophiles and child abusers. You, it's a decision you're making right now. You know what I mean? You still there, my friend? You still there? Did you hang up on me? My friend. 